Hello ladies, welcome to Femininity Chat. This is where we will be covering dating, lifestyle, beauty, and fashion. You are a prize, but not everyone you will encounter will have good intentions for you. There are a few reasons why having a drink on the first date is not ideal. But before we get into that, it's important that I share that this advice comes from a space of experience. And I want to make sure that I am helping you ladies protect yourselves by being very transparent with you. I know how exciting it is as a single woman to be asked on a first date to get to know a man better. We need that first date to figure out if we want to pursue the man any further. And who don't want a nice meal with a cocktail? But I'm here to tell you to be smart. I am a woman of a particular age and have seen a lot being a single woman living in the inner city. Whether you meet a man online or in the streets, I want to tell you about the predatory energy that you may be faced with while being a single woman. When you are single and actively dating, you are opening yourself to men that come from a number of backgrounds and values that may not align with yours. You may notice with some, and I don't mean all, men will prefer a woman to have a drink with them to break the ice, and we all know cocktails are a great social starter. But not all men want to know your favorite color and what school you attended. They want the alcohol to blur your better judgment and discernment. With that drink, you may become a bit more friendly and comfortable that is not suitable for a date. You want the first date to be very businesslike, where he can get an idea of your personality and the conversation and energy is the main focus. Drinking too soon will open the doors for too much comfort and the line will get crossed. You may miss the red flags of the overly sexual advances and or physical interactions like touching your body without consent because your judgment has been impaired. There are men out here that will intentionally plan on getting you drunk or what I like to call it, the easy girl cocktail. They will suddenly want to shower you with endless cocktails and it's not because he wants to spoil you. He wants his way with you. They want the hunt to be easy because consciously he does not want anything more from you but an easy lay especially a man who has a lot to hide. He does not have the patience to go on several dates with you to maybe get a shot in your bed. We all love our cocktails. When we are comfortable with our friends and family, the spirits are flowing and we usually associate that with fun. But look at the first date as a business meeting and come correct. Stay focused and stay alert. Here are three ways to avoid or turn down the drink on the first date. Whether it is lunch or dinner, or if you are cool with going to happy hour with a man, order a mocktail. Look for signs of him to encourage you to drink and maybe feel and make you feel guilty for allowing him to drink alone. Take note of that. That is his first sign of manipulation and will and it will not be his last. This will be a great test to see if he is a good fit for you. Simply order a sparkling water with lime, a Shirley Temple, a fruit punch spritzer, or simply look on the menu and order a non-alcoholic beverage. Number two, if he tries to see if you want to drink, tell him, oh, I'm on a cleanse right now. I would just get a water. Order the water. The water will be the first sign you give him that you are not to be played with. Men need a challenge. So although you are not going to give the uptight vibes, he will admire your discipline if he is a good fit for you. Although you will be completely sober in number three, you will simply say, oh, I had a drink before dinner. I'm done for the day. 
This will give him an insight that you do socially drink, but you handle your intake well, but you are still keeping that boundary up. Protect yourself, ladies, and don't get too comfortable too soon. Not everyone has good intentions, even though you do. Stay fabulous and subscribe for more.